Hello everyone, it's Report Portal here. Some time ago, in April, we released version 4.1. Then, with hot June, there came version 4.2, and very soon the October version will appear on the GitHub. And still we haven't told you anything about this version in detail. Our fault. But now we have the awesome microphone, cool features, and the great desire to tell you everything about 4.1 and 4.2. Let's start. In version 4.0, we have added a new analyzer that operates on Elasticsearch. It is a very complicated theme, so we will make a separate video with information about how to install and configure the analysis on the project. A small hint for now. Change analyzer configurations to those on the screen and your analyzing process will become more pleasant and accurate. But today we'll speak only about new features, not going too deep into Elasticsearch magic. So, now after version 4.1, users get a possibility to configure the base according to which the analyzer would make a decision. Based on all results on the project, just on launches with the same name or within the single launch. Let's look at an example. There are three launches on the project. To make Analyzer work, the first thing you should do is to investigate the reasons of failure manually. So, let's navigate to eight failed items in launch B1 and set appropriate defect types. For that, I chose test items with Java Lang assertion error in error log. Items with such error should have defect type product bug. We got six items in search result, so I mark them as product box. And the rest of them have the same logs, and we mark them as automation box. Manual investigation for launch B has been done. It's time to test the analyzer. Let's run an analysis for launch A. In setting pop-up, we select launches with the same name. It means that the analyzer will analyze launch A based on results from launches with name A. But on the project, only launch B has investigation. That is why the analyzer can't find any options for launch A. And now let's run the analysis for launch A with all launches configuration. In this case, the analyzer should make a decision based on all results on the project. Wait a bit for the results. We've got them, but let's check it out. Select 8 failed items. All items with Java Lang assertion error have product bug. Items without this error, but with the same failure reasons, have automation bug. Just as I wanted. And now it's time for the icing on the cake. Earlier in the report portal there was a feature match issue. In version 4.0 it was cruelly removed. However, by popular demand it was returned. So, mid configuration current launches. Let's analyze launch B2. Go back to all launches and run an analysis with configuration only current launch. Wait for the result. So, the launch is analyzed and results look absolutely different in comparison with previous ones. All items with Java Lang accession error have system issue, as it should be. Other items have no defect. So, as you can see, previous investigations on the project were not taken into account. Analyzer make its decisions based only on tests in launch B2. But we move on. Now we will select launch items that should be analyzed. On the second part of the pop-up you can see these configurations. Default value is to investigate. That means that all items with to investigate should be analyzed. Let's pretend that launch B2 have been done with incorrect settings and you want to reanalyze it. Choose launches with the same name and items analyzed by autoanalysis and reanalyze items that have been investigated by the analyzer. Six items changed their defect type. Now restart the analysis for those items that you have analyzed manually. Two items change the defect type. Check the items. All Java Lang session error are product bugs. And all the others are auto bugs. So, as you can see, previous investigations were removed and items have been analyzed once again. 
Let's move forward to the next feature. Operations with BTS. We have two pieces of news. One is good and another is very good. Since the version 4.2, it has become possible to add custom issue type for tickets in Jira and Rally. I open the settings and in the settings for my instance, I choose the type of issue, which will be posted to your BTS with the tickets. Let's check whether it works. We go to Step View, select an item and post a bug to Jira. The save type is already selected for the ticket type. Later on, after version 5.0, we are planning to expand the functionality of this model window, so it will be possible to select the ticket type directly from this level. And now, let's look at the situation when testers or auto-analysis has linked several items to wrong issue in BTS. Now, you have a bulk operation for this action. Select several tests and click on Unlink in the Actions drop-down or via Defect Editor model window. Next, History Line and History Table are considered one of the most used tools based on customers' reviews. So, here goes another portion of updates. Clickable launch numbers. On the log view, user can see a lot of information – logs, attachments, history, links and other. But user can see only last 10 items. Sad, isn't it? No way! Because now, within the framework of one launch, you can view the logs of the previous launches. We have added the ability to move directly to the item in the selected launch. Click on launch number to open it and see history of previous executions. Now you can move forward and backward on history line. The same logic is added to the history table. All panels are clickable. Therefore, having found a failed issue, you can quickly navigate to the component. Then, go back and move to other ones. Tags. We have expanded the ability to filter test items by tags. New filter criteria were added without all and without any. Let's see how it works. I choose. Let's choose launches that contain tags H and desktop with criteria all. System shows launch 10 with both tags H and desktop. Then change criteria from with all to without all. System shows all launches that don't have text edge and desktop at the same time. The second case. Let's choose launches that contain text edge and desktop with criteria any. System shows all launches with edge and desktop or just with edge or just with desktop. Then change criteria from with any to without any. And system shows all launches that don't have edge and desktop or just without edge or just without desktop. Another innovation is the ability to view HIR files. You can report your test results into report portal with HIR file. Let's look how it works. Move to log level, open section attachments and open HIR file. In the pop-up you can see all the details, expand sections and other. In previous versions, this format wasn't supported, and this file was downloaded to your computer. A small improvement for those who use Report Portal on the large screens. Now there is a new Infinite Session function, especially for you. What does it mean? Now User Session is defined by properties in Docker Compose file. Previously, while using Report Portal on the large screen, the session was limited and you had to log in into application from time to time. Forget about it, because now I have got infinite session. Dashboard is full screen mode, will be shown without interruption. In the earlier versions on UI, test case duration is reflected in format just seconds or minutes, with rounding. Now you can see more detailed information for duration, without rounding. For hours in format hours minutes, for minutes in format minutes seconds. So that's all for today folks. Thank you for your attention. We will be back soon with our video about analyzer. Please write down in the comment other topics you are interested in. Bye!